Today, friends, in Puppy Linux, I'm going to show you how to add the Chrome browser and update your desktop. So let's get cracking. So, friends, this is Puppy Linux. It's fun, fast, and free. You can see over here all your resources. Once again, this is a virtual machine. I will have a video showing you how to create a virtual machine. I already have videos showing you how to install on old computers. Those will be listed up here in the cards. So the first thing I want you to see is if we right click, we can get a hold of the menu. I want to go to JWM Desk. I'm not a fan of this gray, so let me show you how to fix it. So under appearance, let's start with background. Instead of gray, I like this first one listed, the blue one, so I'm going to apply it. That makes that look a little more spiffy, and I'm going to simply close that. I'm also going to go to the icon theme, and once again, instead of gray, I'm going to choose mocha. You can have as much fun as you want exploring those and then I'm going to simply hit quit. The next one I want to switch is on the windows. Notice there are so many things you can adjust here. I'm going to go to the title bar and instead of the current theme I want to switch to Ubuntu. Once you do that bingo now we've got all those icons that we expect and we can simply hit quit quit and quit and now we've got puppy Linux looking the way that we want. So real quickly the internet is connected Everything is working the way you'd expect. If you click right here to choose browse, you will have the Firefox browser. You'll notice it launches really quickly. We can close the privacy. It's got the welcome. I'm going to choose not now. Still choosing not now and not now. And finally, Firefox launches. And then what I want to show you that's nice about Firefox is if we click help and about, it's updating all by itself. This is really nice. If you like the Firefox browser, this is a great choice. If you've got an older computer where it cannot update the browser anymore, this is a fantastic way to have a browser that updates all by itself. Note I'm going to say not now because I would like a different browser on my computer. I'm going to simply close that and let me show you how to get the Chrome browser, which is what I like to use. So step one is to visit the puppy Linux forums. I highly recommend this as a place to get all your information about Puppy. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to simply click the link right here to visit. Maximize this so it fills the entire screen. Of course, I highly recommend that you register. For today's project, though, I'm going to simply go down to additional pets and stuff. I'm going to go to the browsers and internet, and then we want to find the Chrome browser. Now, currently, it is not on the main page because people are not asking questions about it. That's because this awesome installer is working like a champ. Let me show you how this works. We're going to visit it. Of course, you can read all the information. I want to give a huge shout out to Mike Walsh and Fred X for making this work. It is absolutely slick. Let me show you the steps. We're going to go down here to the download area. It's at Mega NZ. When we click it, we just have to wait a moment for it to load and then we can simply hit download. We're going to get this Chrome portable. There's the steps of it downloading. It only takes a moment. And when it says completed, we can go to the install. I'm going to do that by going right to the folder. Chrome zip is in downloads. I could use that button to minimize Firefox, but instead I'm going to roll it up like a blind with my mouse scroll wheel. To extract this, we're going to do right click, and if you look at the menu options, it has got three different extracting tools. I'm going to just use U Extract. I'm going to do it in the downloads, and I'm going to just tell it OK. It gives me a little feedback, and then it gives me a Google Chrome zip extracted folder. If we go in there, we still have to get to the tar Z. We're going to right click on that, and I'm going to choose Extract here. Notice, let it do all its work. It's going to be in the extracted folder. It does take a few moments. This one is not giving us the update. Just give it some time to finish. Now we're going to store this in what's called mount.home. Notice I clicked over here on the home folder. This is our save file, just so you know. I'm going to move to this folder right now, and I'm going to simply grab this after I've given it a whole minute to settle, and I'm just going to move it over here. I am actually going to choose move and then wait for it to do its thing. Notice it was pretty quick. This is because it's a virtual drive. Yours will take a little longer. 
And then if we enter this, you'll find the important parts of Google Chrome Portable. There's a Chrome, a data on the library, there's a launch, there's a menu add, menu remove, and then there's an update Chrome, and then there's a readme. So I'm gonna just show you the readme quick. If I click on this, it launches in one of the text editors. I'm gonna turn on line wrapping so it's easier to read. And I just want you to know the recommended place to put it is in this home folder. So we just did that. If you want to put it somewhere else, you can follow the instructions right here. Since I'm using a new faucet pup, we do not need to read any of the stuff below. We just need to use menu add. Everything will blink. Bingo, it is added. I'm going to hide that again by scrolling it up. And now we're going to hit launch. Just like that, we are welcome to Google Chrome. I do want it default. I do want to send usage, so I'm going to tell it OK. Those are all choices you can make. I would choose sign into Chrome so that this was like a Chromebook. Right now, though, I'm going to choose don't sign in. Remind me later, and then I want to highlight this. To update Chrome, we need to do a special step. So I'm going to close Chrome, and then we've got to go back to this portable folder, and we've got to update Chrome. Simply click that little menu. You'll see this little green thing pop up in the window. It downloads the files. It updates Chrome. It gives you that little yellow warning. And once it finishes, it gives you the green it's been updated. Now notice when we launched it, we got a profile folder. That's where all of our info is stored. And right now, instead of the launch, I'm going to close all these little windows. And we can go to the menu option. And under Internet, Bingo, you now have Chrome Portable. When it launches, you have got the brand new version of Chrome. I'm going to say got it. I'm going to say set as default. And bingo, if you're working on an older computer, it's now faster. And you've got up-to-date browsers. How cool is that? I'm going to roll down Firefox. I'm going to close it as well. And let's do a little bit of cleanup. I'm going to click on the file menu and I'm going to go to downloads and everything here I can now click on and choose the delete key. I'm going to tell it brief, force and quiet. So it only takes one click for all of that to be cleaned up. I'm going to give you one more bonus trick while we're in here, friends. If you go to the file menu and you go up one folder, there is a folder called user and share and applications. If you look through here, you will see the Chrome Portable. And if you grab that and drag it out here, I'm going to roll this up so it's more clear. You can now launch Chrome Portable with a single click. How cool is that? Friends, that's how you add Chrome to a Puppy Linux setup. Of course, I love Puppy Linux for taking older computers and making them fast again. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget you can find information about that community in the description. Of course, friends, I also want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget every time you give the video a like, add a comment, share the video, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Of course, friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.